Hello all. In this video I will explain to you how to set up the AutoU Pilot. New feature included in the Technology Pro X package. Really handy. Uh, a day like today I'm out drilling in the field. It allows me to drill the inside of the field first and then close up with the headlands. Less soil compaction in the headlands, better yield. That's something we like to hear. AutoU Pilot itself it requires the Walter guide, of course, to know where the tractor is, the GPS location, and the U-Pilot. Actually, what the Auto U-Pilot does, it automates the U-Pilot. So you can imagine the traditional U-Pilot programming sequences or single functions on M1, M2, M3 buttons. And imagine you could do that automatically based on the headland line. No need of pressing buttons, this means that every single time you are passing the headland the operation is being done automatically and precisely overall. So first step when using the Auto U Pilot is to configure the right actions to the right memory buttons. And today I have done it already. And on M2, like you see, I have drilled down. So coming to the inside of the field, uh, I want to lower the drill. On M3, I have drill up, 60% flow, 6 seconds, the drill have time to, to be lift up. When I have done the programming of the traditional memory buttons, M2 and M3, um, and actually M M1 I have for Walter guide activation, then I can proceed to the actual AutoU pilot menu. The AutoU pilot menu can be found here from the Walter guide map view or actually that's a quick activation and deactivation of the auto u pilot the menu itself is here touching the screen for the slider to come from the right side you can find here the auto u pilot menu in the same place where you adjust the headland width and like you see in the picture today we are having a 21 meter headland and to turn on the auto u pilot you click there and then you can configure the memory buttons to the Auto U Pilot. And like we have done in the U Pilot itself, M2 was for lowering the drill, and M3 is for lifting the drill. And that means that when coming from the headland to the inside of the field, I want this to be M2. So it's M2 now. And when coming from the inside of the field to the headland, that's M3 because I want to lift the drill. And after you have done this, I want to set an offset because going from the headland to the inside of the field, the drill will be lowered when the connection point is, is going over the headland. And same when coming from the inside of the field to the headland, the drill will be lift up when the connection point of the drill is crossing the headland line. And this will result in some mismatches on the field and on the cultivations in the field as well. And why is that? Well, yes, because the drill is approximately five meters behind my tractor. And to overcome this, I want to set an offset here, both for lowering and lifting the drill. And I can do it traditionally here by inserting a value. Now I think it will be close to maybe 80 centimeters here. So I could type 0 0.8 here and that would be fine. But then I could also have an automatic assistant to, uh, uh, to assign the offset. And that is being activated here on the auto offset. And now the system is asking me do I want to activate the offset assistant? And yes, I want to do that. And the instructions are that start driving and press M2 to set the correct position to trigger the memory button. I accept that. And now I want to zoom in a little bit to check the right point to lower the drill. So first of all, I'm activating the Walter guide. And now I'm ready here to press M2. And it's counting actually the meters to the headland. And I want it to be lowered a little bit before the headland line. So now. 
And maybe that was a little bit too late, but that's no worries. I can adjust it later on. Actually, quite good. 78 centimeters minus. Then I will activate also the offset assistant for M3 from here. And same applies to this. So start driving and press M3 when you are crossing headland line and when you want to raise the, the implement. I'm accepting that and ready to press M3 and the meters are counting here in the in the map view so that in approximately 50 meters I'm crossing the headland line and I'm ready to press M3. And now I pressed and let's see what it says. Minus three meters and seven cents. So now offset is correct. I accept and the system tells me how many meters to the next uh, pass. The system also tells me how many meters to the next headland line. At the moment it's counting down, so 70 meters and counting. And we have also these warning beeps that you can soon start to hear. So when I am approaching, the system starts beeping first slowly. Now, and then again, and again, and then more rapidly. Like so, and then now it's lifting up the implement. Everything done automatically. And same for lowering the implement. Actually, I was not quite satisfied on that point to Let's try with that. Also a handy feature, uh, if you have narrow headlands when you are plowing, for example, then you might not always uh, be able to not cross the headland line before you have turned the tractor in the headland. And that might result that the Auto U pilot will uh, start even un unintentionally. And that you can avoid just simply by deactivating the Auto U pilot here. You can press this button as much as you like. Now it's deactivated, it's not counting the meters. And when you activate the Auto U pilot again from here, it's counting the meters and everything continues like before. Like so.